There are different types of marks you can achieve with laser marking machines. If you want little to no depth in your marks, you can etch in a kneel with a laser. But if you're looking for depth, you'll want to engrave. In this video, we're going to use our Geomark Pro, a class one fiber laser, to show you different ways to get a deep mark with your laser marking machine. But first, let's look at some of the reasons getting a deep engraved laser mark may be preferable for your marking application. Also, keep in mind that when we're talking about deep laser engraved marks, we're not talking about inches, but rather hundredths and thousandths of an inch. If you're marking something that will experience a lot of wear and tear, a deep laser engraved mark will last much longer than an annealed or etched mark. Deep marks are also easier to see than shallow marks on parts that are later painted or undergo other types of post-processing. Lastly, the marking requirements for some parts are determined by federal laws and industry regulations. Sometimes, engraving is the only way to make a mark deep enough to meet those requirements. Now that we know why you might want a deep laser engraved mark, let's talk about how to set up your laser to get one. To get a deep laser mark, you can use a higher power setting, use a slow speed setting, make multiple loops or passes, or do a combination of all of these options. Each method for increasing depth has its pros and cons. The best one for you will depend on the laser marking machine you're using and your application. Let's look at each method one by one. Using a high power setting is the simplest way to increase depth. However, depending on your laser, your highest power setting may not be strong enough to get a significant depth in your mark. If you can't get the depth you want by increasing your power, you can use a slow laser speed setting. By slowing the speed of your laser, you increase the amount of time the laser spends over each section of the part you're marking. This gives your laser more time to displace material, resulting in a deeper mark. Of course, a slow speed means it will take longer for your mark to finish. Additionally, the combination of high power and slow speed can generate too much heat, leaving your mark looking burned and rough. Making multiple loops with your laser creates depth by repeatedly going over the mark, displacing more and more material with each pass. As with slowing your laser speed, making multiple loops will increase the amount of time it takes to complete your mark. However, because the laser isn't spending a long time at any one spot, you are less likely to get a burnt, rough mark. So let's use our Geomark Pro to try out these different methods. For the sake of time, we're not going to show you the entire marking process, but we'll post the cycle times for each mark for the sake of comparison. So here are the marks. As you can see, all four marks look different from one another. To demonstrate the depth, we painted over a similar set of marks. You can make out the faint shapes of the letters of the deeper marks, while the shallow mark can't be seen at all. Here's an additional mark that combines high power, slow speed, and multiple loops to get even more depth. What this shows us is that sometimes, changing just one setting isn't enough to get the depth that you need. The best way to get depth in your mark will depend on your application. Does the look of the mark matter? What kind of material are you marking? And how quickly do you need to make each mark? Knowing how your power, speed, and loop settings affect the depth of your mark will help you find the right settings for your application. Thanks for watching our latest Schmidt tip. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 800-323-1332. You can also leave questions in the comment section of the video, and we'll follow up with you shortly.